In this video, I'm going to show you how to process a traverse collected in Leica Captivate in Leica Infinity. So I wanted to show you first how the traverse looked in Infinity, what the results were in the field, and how we can export a brief report uh, of the data that we collected in the field. So we have a project called ATCS. So I want to take a look at it. I'll go to my 3D viewer. The traverse consisted of six points. We started out by collecting a couple of points using a Leica GS18T GPS receiver using an RTK network. We collected point number two and point number 100. We started our traverse by occupying point number two. And to get rid of any noise or RTK error, uh, to start our traverse, what we're going to do is we're going to hold the GPS position of point number two and the azimuth between point number two and our second GPS point, number 100. So what we did is we set up on number two, we backsided number 100, recollected that point as point number one, and then used point number one in our traverse. So uh, again, ran our traverse in the field, took about, um, took about an hour, hour and a half in, of, of actual field time to run the traverse have about 1,500, 1,400, 1,500 feet of traverse that we that we located. So we're going to do a report of what we did in the field. Uh, so first, let's look at our traverse data. So I'll go to the traverse app. I'll choose an existing traverse, press OK. And I can look at the results of my traverse, or I can look at the data. So I'll go to data, and you'll notice that we have uh, six points, uh, three sets on each point. So let's go look at the results. So I'll click on results. Yeah, again, we started on point number two, closed on number one. We had eight thousandths of a foot horizontal error. We had about almost two hundredths of a foot vertical error. Again, about 1,600 feet of traverse. Our 2D accuracy was one in 212,000 unadjusted, and our 1D accuracy is one in 93,000 unadjusted. Now we could adjust the traverse here and Captivate, but we're going to take the data into Leica Infinity and do our adjustment there. But uh, if we want, we can do a, a brief text report of this. So what I'll do is go back out to the main screen. I'll click on my tile and go export data. I'm going to export this data using a format file. And the format file is called 1200 app log. This, files, this format file has been around a long time, uh, but still useful for us here in Leica Captivate. I will attach a link in my video description here so that you can download this file. I'm going to create a file called atcs.txt, so we'll just go ahead and press OK to complete the export. So I've opened up the, the text file that I created in, a, in just a, a viewer here in, on my computer. And again, it's just a, a printout of, of all the things that you did in this project. So, Here's our first uh, traverse location. So you can see that I set on point number two and you can see the sets that I turned. Here's a summary of each set. And then we have a summary of all of our sets here. You can see our uh, max spread of our angles. You can look at our standard deviations. And again, we can go through and look at this information for all of our sets. If I scroll all the way down to the bottom, we can look at the traverse closure that we had in the field. Uh, one of the things we couldn't see in, in the Captivate app uh, after the traverse was already finished was the angular closure. But here in the printout, we can see again the length closure uh, that we looked at previously. Our, there's our horizontal, there's our vertical closure, and here's our angular closure. So with six traverse angles, we, had a, we only had two seconds of angular error. So I'm ready to take this data into like infinity and finish my process. So I'm in the process now here. I'm in Leica Infinity. This is version 3.0.1. Um, this is the most current version here. It's uh, August of 2018. So I'm in the process of creating uh, my, tra my, my project. So I'll press create. And then once that's done, I am ready to import my data. I have exported the data from my controller in the field to a USB drive, so I'll press import. And I can look for my USB drive. And I look under my DBX directory. Here's my project. 
select that, press import. Now, if, if your traverse process went smoothly in the field, the traverse processing part in the office will go very smoothly as well. I've got, a, I've got my Infinity set up to automatically bring up a data source report. And if you want, you can save this, print this out, and close this up. You'll see our traverse here. You'll also see the RTK measurements coming in. And so to process the traverse, I simply go over to the traverse tab. I can select my traverse. I right click and tell it to open the traverse wizard. This will show me all of my setups. This information is already populated from what was done in the field. I can check my start and my end information here. If I need to change uh, anything, I can just click on simply click on the pencil here and it'll allow me to edit my information. Maybe if I have different control point values or something like that that I need to use for my traverse, I can change that here. But if everything is set up the way uh, if I don't need to make any changes, I will just go ahead and press next. And you'll get an initial uh, result page here. And, and it's showing me that my tolerances have been met for all my, uh, my sets. I've got a tech check mark, so I'll press next. And I'm going to tell it that I want to do a basic compass rule adjustment. I can set some tolerance error uh, tolerances here. Again, for my traverse processing, I'm going to leave the default, so I'll press next. And we get an initial closure. This is a traverse accuracy before any adjustments are applied. So you'll notice we've got a 1D accuracy of 1 in 125,000, 2D accuracy of 1 in 300,000. Seeing the same basic errors here uh, that we saw in the, uh, in the report in the field. I think the differences you're seeing here are probably related to uh, rounding, that, uh, that we have more decimal place tolerances here in Infinity. So I think probably the differences we're seeing between this and what you saw on, on the controller is just rounding. So you'll notice we've got the same two second angular error. So I'll tell it, tell the program what I want to do with my angular error. So I'm going to do an equal distribution. See the same basic uh, height misclosure. I'll also do, I'll also select my distribution there as equal for that. Then I'll press next to complete the adjustment process. And you'll notice here when I do that, the, act the accuracy actually goes down. So at this point, you have a decision to make about whether or not you want to complete the adjustment of this traverse or leave it unadjusted. Again, we have very little error in the traverse. So I'll just expand this box here by pulling down on the corner. And you can see... You know, just move my orientation up a little bit and go ahead and expand that out and you can see how the adjustment was applied to the traverse and if you're if uh, you're okay with the adjustment here press finish and then what we can do is again highlight our traverse select the report tab here and go to our traverse report and the same information that we just saw here will be brought out in a format that then you can then export, print, or save. Again, I can just briefly scroll through that and you'll see the results of our adjustment. And you're ready to take this data and use it uh, for additional surveying.